with the Duke Summerton here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, today I'm gonna be doing a an unboxing and first impressions video for the Timber Rattler Giant Folding Knife. So I got my Cold Steel Recon 1 here. Open this bad boy up. Uh, I first saw this on the in the Bud K catalog. But, ow. Purchased it on Amazon for a little more, but more convenient. So I got the invoice there, already trashed that. There we go. Very nice box. Timber Rattler right there. Open it up. It's in a plastic and wrapped in some kind of paper. Looks very nice, right out of the box. Very shiny, very pretty. Very large too. Made out of 10, or not 10, sorry. TR99 stainless steel. Windy. <laughs> made in Pakistan, so. Not just made in Pakistan, don't exactly have the best reputation, but we'll see. Initial sharpness right out of the box is mm, not great. Let me see. Uh, hold on. Okay, I got some uh, loose leaf paper here. Try this. See how this bad boy works. Yeah, there's a little patch down by the base of the knife, down closer to the Ricasso. That's kind of sharp, but yeah, that was a nice one. Yes, yeah, not very sharp at all right out of the box. Even, yeah. All right, that was not very successful. I have a little sharpener here that I also purchased off Amazon for about $16 I think and a little water so I think I'm gonna uh, sharpen this baby up a little bit and I'll be right back okay so that took a little bit but and I'm not the best sharpener I don't have the best sharpener I'm kinda new at this sharpening <laughs> new at this sharpener so I did get it Kind of sharp. Let's see. Like I said, I'm not very good at this, so. Alright, that's. Wow. Oh, there we go. Ooh. That cut was a lot better. Still not. Of course, not razor sharp, but. There we go. Getting knives. Really sharp, takes a lot of practice. So, as I get better at this knife, I'll get my knives sharper. But there we go. So, what? So, what initially drew me to this knife was, oh, well, of course, the size. Very interesting piece. If you're familiar with cold steel, you know they have a, pro a knife called the Espada, and that comes in extra large which they mark it as a pocket sword. This knife is actually bigger than the es Espada XL. So, this is a true pocket sword. Well, let's see, lock up, pretty decent lock up, very little wiggle. The finish on the scales they appear to be I guess I'm pretty they're most likely bone made to look like not bone I'm sorry wood meant to look like bone but so those are very nice very comfortable in the hand pretty heavy but what you gonna do you can't exactly make a big knife and expect it to be light uh let's see lock is very very tight there we go 
And no, I'm not a weak guy. I'm pretty strong. But so. Yeah. That, that is the Timber Rattler Giant Folding Knife. You'll see a, rev a full review a little later in the week. Probably Friday. I'm shooting for Friday. I'm going to try to get videos up every Friday. It's been a long time since I've uploaded. Last video I uploaded was the Murdering Things with Microwaves with my friend Jake. Uh, hopefully... I still have the microwave, it's right there. Hopefully I'll get some more of those videos out. I can't, I can make them by myself, but it's more fun with friends, so more the merrier. Whenever Jake is available, I'll be making those videos. I have some other things I would like to review. Right here, just right here I have the CRT, CRKT, Columbia River Knife and Tool, Woods, Chogan got a lot of hours with this. Did a nice power, did a paracord wrap on the handle because it was just bare wood with uh, polyurethane. I, don't, I didn't really like that. It was giving me some nasty blisters. So and then over here we have the cold steel Viking hand axe of this thing. I didn't put a paracord wrap on this just yet. I might, I don't know. But this didn't come with any polyurethane on it, which I like. I might get some boiled linseed oil or something for it. And I got crap. Sorry about Whew, sorry about that guys. Real professional here. <laughs> it's the cold steel kukri machete. Not the Gurkha Kukri, not the Royal Kukri. Just the plain old $25 Kukri Machete. I have the Cold Steel Bushman. The fire, little ferro rod I added this liner just to get, help get out of the sheath easier. You'll see reviews on all these knives and axes and stuff in the future. So, yeah. That's all the time I have for today. Luke the Duke Sergeant here. Have a nice day.